you know, all the doom and gloom that we constantly hear, that we live under, uh, I did hear something that I thought was encouraging. You know, that uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. was trying to get, you know, the Democratic nomination. Well, that's, a, you know, he's not having no luck at all. You know, they're, uh, they're totally against him to a, a ridiculous level. Because, of course, they want to run Biden. But, of course, Biden really isn't going to run. They've got Newsom waiting in the wings. And they're going to pull him in there sometime. You know, he's all warmed up. He's ready to go. So there will come a point where he'll go in there. But that uh, Kennedy announced that he is going to be running as an independent. And every, you know, I, I, I don't know uh, how people feel about him, but every time I hear him talking, I agree with a lot of what he says. You know, so, yeah, I think he should have an opportunity to run. It'd be interesting. You know, the Democrats are dead set against us because, oh, my God, he's going to pull votes away from well, Biden, they say, but like I say, I don't think Biden is possibly going to uh, be running. I think they're going to they're going to bring in Newsom, but their great fear is that he will pull part of the Democratic vote away. He will be a spoiler, like they claim Ross Perot was at one time. But I I see him as a very legitimate candidate, and I actually see him. Uh, pulling as much from the Republican side as from the Democratic side. You know, I think uh, he's been talking to the Libertarians, kind of maybe going to run under them. But I think if you were to run Kennedy and bring in Tulsi as vice president candidate, I mean, I think they're both reasonable people, um, compassionate, caring people. I think they could actually do a lot of good. I think people are really tired of this two-party system. So I think uh, running as independent, I think he's got a hell of a shot, man. So I don't know about trying to get on the libertarian ticket because the libertarians can never agree on anything. They fight amongst themselves so much uh, that they become almost irrelevant. You know, they, they just squabble. So they end up coming up with some weird candidate. But if they would back him, or like I say, if he just runs in an independent, Boy, I think he's got a pretty good chance because people are fed up with these two parties. You know, <coughs> even now where they're still arguing about, ooh, shut down the government. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for that. You know, anytime anything gets out of hand, <laughs> they shut it down. In fact, that's what I'm monkey around with here is a kill switch. This is a Magura style kill switch, but it's got cracks on the bellows. But the idea is your throttle sticks, whatever, you know, get the kill switch, shut the motor down, fix your problems and start it up again. But this is bad when they got a crack in them because you can get one hell of a jolt, you know, if you get water in there. So I'll have to see if they can't find parts for that. But, you know, they make it sound like this uh, shutting the government down is a terrible thing. I don't see it that way. You know, we've been through this before. You know, I don't think these politicians don't realize how much 
people despise the things that they do. You know, this constant pouring of money into Ukraine. Uh, there's a majority of people who want nothing more to do with that. You know, they're going at it, to me, from the wrong angle. They're saying, oh, we don't want to spend the money. We should have never been involved in the first place. That was not our thing. I mean, we, we started this, and that's one of the things I got against Trump. You know, this was started back with Obama when they started, our State Department started fiddling around there in some horrible ways. But then when Trump got in, he could have done something about that. But he just let that slide, you know. And now look where we're at, you know, because it put them on pause for a little bit. They couldn't, you know, get too open with their dirty tricks. But now when Biden got in, they're right back at it, you know. But just from an ethical standpoint, we shouldn't have been there in the first place fiddling with that. But now people, oh, they don't want to spend the money. Well, no, but you, you've already spent one hell of a lot of money, caused one hell of a lot of harm. There's no going back from that. Just uh, tore a country apart. It's funny, I heard the other day now, oh, like part of this in this uh, shutdown or squabbling, oh, man, you know, uh, the military won't get paid. You know, the Defense Department. Our Defense Department doesn't do any defending of this country. Obviously, if you look at the southern border, they're certainly not defending this country. But they're all over the world poking in. Anytime you hear of some problem turning up someplace, you can bet we're behind it. You know, I heard the other day, you know, we've been trying to overthrow Venezuela for a long time. And, you know, making up fake presidents and, you know, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and, but now, we got involved with, there's some little country next to Venezuela. I don't even remember what the name of it is. But there is a little chunk of land there between Venezuela and this country that is in dispute. Well, there's oil there. So ExxonMobil wants to go down there and drill. Well, the, the, like I say, they're doing it saying, well, it isn't Venezuela, it's this other little country. But Venezuela says, yeah, that's ours. So we're going to send troops down there to defend this little country. What really what we're there for is, is to defend ExxonMobil. It's going to end up just like uh, what's going on in Syria where we steal oil or pirate ships out on the ocean. Like we steal Iranian oil. Just pirate stuff. So, and then we claim we're the good guys. But we're going to try to pull that down there in Venezuela, because they won't cooperate with us. So this little country is going to get the shit beat out of them again. We're going to spend a lot of money defending this corporation to steal a little bit of oil. So, no, our Defense Department you know, what really bugs me is that, you know, I heard one day in this looming shutdown, one of them senators was saying, well, you know, if they shut down, no big deal, we still get paid. Well, that shouldn't be. <laughs> you know, if it gets to the point where we have to shut things down, the first ones who should lose their paycheck are those Congress people. You know, they just kind of giggled and thought, this was funny. Doesn't matter to me, I get paid. But I swear they, you know, they don't need to get paid. They're pulling so many shenanigans, making money on the side. That's where the money is there. It isn't the, the paycheck that they get. 
but they really they have to put a stop to that nonsense you know and and like i say really the only way you know hit the kill switch shut her down won't make any difference to me you know they got they have to shut it down fix the problems then start things up again and you can't always be doing this uh continuing resolution nonsense and always lumping all this stuff together you know if you've got to pass a bill it should pass on its own merits it shouldn't be holding something hostage for something else you know but things should be voted on their individual merits But they continue to do that. So no, I'm fine. Um, you know, it's always funny because when they do that, then they always try to, you know, because they've done it before, makes no difference. Uh, government, you know, we don't really need it. Things just go on. <coughs> you know, a lot of that stuff could be handled by states better in the first place. Uh, federal government doesn't need to be involved. But when they do it, when they have a, this shutdown crisis, they always try to come up with some way of making it relevant to you. I remember one time it was in Minnesota where their state workers were going on strike over something or another. Well, so in order to make people notice it, the first thing they did was to shut down all the rest stops along 94 going down to the cities you know and that was supposed to to make people really notice well it just pissed people off you know it really but that's what they do they try to try to come up with some reason that you should be really concerned about this i'm not concerned i'm more concerned about this kill switch I just know if that if that bellows is bad, they will broke you. You know, it's a simple device. But she's got a leak in her. And there's nothing that perks you up more to get a good jolt. Well, I'm gonna go back to work. I'll have to go and look and see if I can't find a listing for one of them. Probably cheaper to buy the whole switch though. I like these because they're simple. You know, hit her, shuts down. Ah, well, you know, got work to do. Decide which way to go today. Look over my projects. But I, I really don't care if they uh, shut the government down. Like I said, I really wouldn't even notice it. I guess maybe if they didn't do mail delivery after about a week, I would begin to wonder. But otherwise, man, they can. Uh, the sad part is that they, you know, these people get paid for not working. You know, whenever the shutdown ends, well, they get a kind of a windfall for not working. But I think when it shuts down, it should just plain shut down. You know? No, I think we're doomed to a shutdown anyway. I know I had a weird thing the other day. You know, the bank I deal with normally, I get a statement at the end of every month, and it usually comes like three or four days after the month. You know, the end of the month. Well, here I got a statement on the 24th, you know, a long time before the month is done. And I thought, this is weird. You know, I don't know what is going on that, that they issued an early statement. But I know that one day I was looking on the uh, long range weather forecast. And, you know, they had it. And then on the, on the last day, it just had a question mark. 
you know, usually they at least take some kind of a guess, but this, you know, it was like, okay, on the seventh day, the world is probably going to end, you know, according to the weather people, which I think would be today. Yeah. Oh, well. Let her end. Funny stuff goes on. But uh, shutdown is the least of my worries. But like I say, it was a good little thing to see, uh, you know, Kennedy actually going to run as an independent. Because if nothing else, you know, like he's good on like the vaccine stuff and on this whole Ukrainian fiasco. I agree with him on that stuff. So I think, yeah, if nothing else, even just in debates, I want to hear what he has to say. You know, when he can kind of keep some of these other characters a little more honest. But it will be interesting to see what they do about, about Biden, because in actuality, he's, you know, they're trying to ditch him, but they're trying to do it in such a way that they can kind of slide Newsom in there without admitting that Biden is a total failure. So we'll see, because he's a horrible. This has been a horrible administration. Uh, amazing that people stood for this that long. What's amazing, too, is that there's still people who think, yep, he's the guy. Yep, Biden is the guy. I, people are just nuts. Of course, then I don't agree with the people who think, yeah, Trump, Trump is the guy. Trump just grinds me. But I didn't care, you know, so much about his governing. I find him just personally abrasive. You know, there's a level of narcissism there that just galls me. You know, if he could quit showboating and have, would actually do the job, because now even if he gets in, what's he got to do? He's got to go back. Well, he should go back and clean up all of this mess that Biden created. But you know what he's going to do? He's just going to he's going to start patting himself on the back again and let that crap slide. You know, if he'd have lived up to what he was supposed to be doing. People like Hillary and the Clintons, those people should all be locked up. But no, he gets in, and he's satisfied. You know, let them people slide. Don't let them slide. They, the only way you're going to stop that kind of nonsense is to make them pay for their crimes. But no, pat himself on the back. Say, boy, I, I made it. And let them people go on. Always comes back to bite you. Oh well. Kill switch. It's an important thing.